Hi guys, in this video we're going to be having a look at AMD. So about a month ago we covered NVIDIA. We believe NVIDIA is going to become the world's most valuable company. Um, I mean, the most valuable company ever, in fact. So there's a chance it could go to 2000. We've been long NVIDIA since their fake head and shoulders break here, which is a pattern that we discuss on the masterclass. Um, and since then it's sort of 52% on the common stock position and over 10,000% in options. So we're still looking at this to eventually take over Apple and Microsoft, which are currently battling out around 3 trillion. Nvidia should take over Amazon probably before the end of the month. Amazon's at around 1.6. Currently we're at 1.4. So we're still looking at this to become the world's most valuable company. Great benefit of joining the group. You get in on all of these trades early. If you want to know more, please do check out this video where we go in detail as to all the services that we do offer and also check out the educational playlist we are going to get a part two to our um, volume profile update here pretty soon too so have a look through the educational videos and obviously we've got some of the greatest calls in human history here if you're new to the channel now nvidia become the world's most valuable company that's that's what it's all about here semiconductor bubble that's going on led by AI stocks and now we are looking at AMD could easily pull a move to 1000 so similar to N Nvidia here if I just pull it up here we're looking at this to go all the way to 1000 so basically we're just gonna do something like this and then we can just carry that on there something like this and something like this yeah so 1000 okay so doesn't quite get you the world's most valuable company but if it does i can't think of anything greater in terms of a stock market top if it does that once again we've been in amd for a very long time now we've been long prior to this bullish weekly options are up nearly probably i'd say 2000 percent common stock position it's still undervalued and some people would argue it would be harder for NVIDIA to maintain its market cap than it would be for AMD to grab some of NVIDIA's share. So the long-term count is this can go a lot, lot higher. If you were to read this as a new impulse starting from here and do your calculations, I don't think you can stop NVIDIA and I don't think you can stop AMD. Now, percentage-wise, one would argue actually AMD is the more... Um, Big again in terms of percentage moves, but I think both of them are going to move together here. And you know, we're going to get a lot of disruption here to the current leaderboard. You know, Meta's going to get taken out here, Amazon's going to get taken out, and that is the long term count. We're in a wave three impulse here, it's just going to continue on going higher. SP correcting at some point this year is going to concern me, but I think this can go all the way. I mean, it's it's quite a rid ridiculous move to go all the way to 1000 from here but you know technically that's over a 12x well it's a 12x move from when we got in but in terms of market cap I mean, that's a 450 percent move so um and you know the initial move going into the 87 high which was here you could read all of that as the a leg right so this kind of move from 72 all the way to 84 that was like the a leg so effectively, this has been correcting from 1984 all the way to 2015. So this C wave is relative to this A wave. And so that's how we can get such ridiculous targets like 1000 if I was to break it down. And that is a lot of cause. And as we know, effect is proportional to cause. So what is this? That's basically an expanded flat of the WXY variety, right? And then th all of this move into here, I mean, best case scenario, all of that is just a, um, it's just a one, really. All of that is just just a one, right? That would be the uber bullish scenario that will definitely get it to 1,000. Worst case scenario, this is the one, two, three, four, and now we're in the five, of which we're in the one, two, three, four, five, yeah? So AMD's looking very bullish. I don't think you can stop NVIDIA and AMD. It's a shame, you know, Postman, Pat, and the Milkman are going to buy NVIDIA um, at 2,000, and then, you know, the world's going to end soon after that. Not much we can really do about that, but it's important to get into these positions early. That is the trade. That is the setup. I don't think you can stop AMD at this point. Um, I, I don't see how it can't go a lot, lot higher than its current price. I mean, that is looking very bullish on the monthly, on the daily here. 
We've done a back test of the all-time highs. It's taken over Intel in terms of market cap, and really, it's it's going to go in the way. I, I don't think AMD hits an Nvidia market cap, but it can get pretty close. Right, it can it can get pretty close. So it's important to watch these two stocks. I think obviously ARM will do well. Taiwan Semiconductors will do well. SMH we've still got much higher targets there too. So the only thing that would disrupt this AMD Nvidia bubble that's going on is a major stock market correction, which I just don't see happening. That was a great great little retest there. So if you want to get in on these trades early. You need to join the group, okay? That's why we release all the trades well before they occur so you can take advantage of that. Don't follow people on YouTube who are just drawing random lines and doing what I call hindsight analysis. After the move is done, right, everyone's going to claim to have called NVIDIA. Well, we called NVIDIA when it was much, much lower, right? So it was at 400 and we said, Hi guys, this is a and, and we said it's, it's going to go to, to, to 2000. So it's important to get in on these trades early o only three ways to make money be first be smart or cheat and obviously we've done you know calls here from seven years ago as regards to where the dow is going to go i mean in fact that was the first video from six and a half years ago so as you can see it's only a real stock market crash that's going to disrupt these two a correction they may consolidate i don't think at this point you're going to stop nvidia amd S&P's made new highs. It's a blue sky breakout. So price discovery is going on. FOMO begets FOMO. I really don't think there's anything more to be said here. Like I said, best case scenario, all of that was a um, was a one two. If not, it's a one two three four, and now we're comfortably in the five. So this is looking very very bullish. Sorry. The count was all of that is a one. Then a, then a, then it's a two. Then it's a one two. So we're in the third of the third. If not. There is a one, two into here, and then three, and then four, and then we're going much, much higher. So I think Nvidia can get to two thousand, AMD to one thousand. This is really where the focus is. I, I, I think for the time being, that might change, and so you're gonna need to know how when to rotate into healthcare, when to rotate into energy, into regional banks, and so on. Once again, regional banks, we call the lows in there. We call Wale when it was at eight, and I was at sixty. So all the calls have been made light years before anyone else. Anyone who's in the group can can um, basically attest to that. So uh, that is the video. That is the update. There's not really much um, I can say on this. I think it's moving very, very impulsively. And um, if you want more independent learning take the master class and we show you how to calculate your targets how do we know nvidia is going to, to, to 2000 it's not based on the fundamentals i mean amd is an unbelievable 1600 price over earnings right now forward pe is a lot more reasonable at around 65 price over earnings but in a bubble you don't really want to focus on the fundamentals because if you do, you're going to miss the entire move. So I see nothing stopping AMD and Nvidia. As to when it's going to correct, what are the interim targets? You're going to have to join the group for that. I think it's highly recommended. If you want to pay via crypto, uh, you know what to do. It's going to be two months um, two months up front. It's going to be a, a very interesting year and you have to know what to be in and when and that's really the advantage of the group for more longer term players for swing traders might not be so useful for more leveraged day traders um, <clears throat> but for any other type of investor I, th I think it's pretty useful anyway that's the call amd to 1000 let's see what happens i'll see you guys on, on the next video